It goes without saying that because of the pandemic this year, going back to school is gonna be a little bit weird. But one thing that always made me feel more confident is having a clean outfit and a dope, fresh pair of sneakers. So in this outfit, we are gonna be going over the top five best sneakers that you guys should be wearing when going back to school this year. So let's get started with number one. So number one on the list for the best overall shoe is, of course, the White on White Air Force One. This is easily the greatest sneaker of all time. I say that confidently. It has transcended sneaker culture and it is great for women, it is great for men, it is great for everything in between, and it is just one of the best shoes ever for many reasons. It comes in a wide variety of different colors, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link this pair and a couple other fun colorways in the description box below for you guys to check out. It is a comfortable shoe. It goes well with shorts, it goes well with jeans, whether you're from the East Coast, the West Coast, or Central, it doesn't matter. This is such an incredible shoe that everybody should have in their collection. So whether you are a sneakerhead, whether you are an average consumer, people love and regard this shoe. And so I think that it would be perfect for you guys if you are headed back to school. One thing to keep in mind is the fit of the shoe. If you guys have never tried this on, what I would recommend doing is going to your local mall. And the best part about it is that these are pretty widely available so you have have the option of trying it on in store, which is like a rarity these days. And so for you guys that are like me and you have a narrow foot, just recommend, I would recommend that to go about a half a size down um, because it does fit a little bit big. So number one on this list goes without saying that it should be the white on white Air Force One because it is the best shoe of all time in my opinion. So let's move on to number two if you guys are a little bit more athletic. So if you guys were like me and athletics was a big part of your school journey, then I highly recommend going with a great cross training and athletic shoe for you guys to wear. I would start with this one. This is the Nike Zoom Gravity. It is around 89 or so dollars right now, and I just absolutely love the shoe for a number of reasons. Number one is the technology in the shoe. So this features Zoom Air in the forefoot of the shoe, and just basically means that it has the spring-like cushion in the forefoot, so when you're running on the balls of your feet, it's gonna feel as if you're getting a nice push from behind. So uh, if you guys are runners, if you guys are like to work out in the gym, then I highly recommend going with this shoe. It offers great support as well, and just the colorway in general is just really Really, really clean. It has this nice black and red color which is great with the speckle midsole and ultimately just the shape of it and everything is just really great. I played a lot of sports uh, in, in, in my school journey. I played soccer, football and I was big in the gym as well so uh, this is going to be able to support you in all of those. Of course if you're playing sport, field sports you're going to want to get yourself some cleats but you know what for those gym sessions I highly recommend these as well. It has great lateral uh, support as well so um, this is uh, like I said $89 and it just comes in a ton of great other colorways so what I'm going to do is I'm going to link this one in the description box below for you guys to check out um, and ultimately uh, the way that it fits is a little bit tricky so uh, just know that I have a bit of a narrow foot so uh, I went with an eight and a half so if you guys like your uh, training shoes to fit a little bit snug then I would continue to go with your true to size but if you like a little bit of room in there or if you have probably a wider foot then I would recommend going a half size up so if you guys are looking for a great overall training shoe running shoe for you know your back to school time uh, uh, if you guys are an athlete, as I mentioned, then this is a great shoe for you. So let's go on to number three, which is perfect if you're a little bit flashier. So if you guys are on a budget and you're looking for a flashy shoe, then I highly recommend going with this one right here. This is the Puma Future Rider and it is easily the best bang for your buck on this list. So it is going for $50 right now, so you really can't beat it for the price. But what I'm gonna tell you is that this discount is not gonna last forever, especially with the stock. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description box for this colorway and some of the other more muted colorways if you guys prefer a more of a subtle look to it. So check out the links in the description because I promise you these guys aren't gonna last long uh, like I said $50 is an insane price point for what you're getting first of all you're getting a lot of heritage in the shoe so this is actually a redesign of a 1980s version of the Puma Rider so if it was good and popular back then you best believe that this is a great shoe now and I love the comfort on these as well it just you know mixed with that outsole attraction on the air uh, with the cushioning setup in here is just really an amazing shoe it's super comfortable and this is a great colorway for the summertime as well so uh, this mix between the orange and the gray with the black. It just really pops and brings the shoe together. Um, so I 
One of my best things that I did this year was branch off and go into some other brands from the standard Nike that I like in, in Air Jordan. So uh, believe me, uh, this is an amazing shoe and I did an entire lookbook on it. So if you guys want to see how I style these, you can actually click that video up at the top over there uh, to see more looks just like this one. So let me tell you something of any shoe on this list. If you guys are looking for the best bang for your buck and if you're really, really on a budget but still want something cool, then I highly recommend you go with the Puma Future Rider. Like I said, only $50. Uh, so make sure you jump on these quick. So let's jump into shoe number four, which is probably the most versatile shoe on this entire list. So this next shoe is probably from one of my favorite brands of the year. It is New Balance. They are absolutely on a wave this year. So let me tell you something. You guys definitely need to pick up a pair of New Balance this year if you guys haven't already. And I highly recommend starting with the New Balance 997H. This is an updated version of their classic 999, uh, 997, sorry. So what I can tell you is that they have updated materials, uh, some great you know, synthetic materials along with the mesh toe box. And this, uh, the cushioning setup is great and it's super lightweight as well. So if you guys are looking for comfort in a very versatile shoe, then I highly recommend going with this one. This is great for back to school as well because New Balance I find is a shoe that can be pulled off with more preppier and more formal business casual looks, but is also sporty because it has a running heritage to it. So it, this actually is a performance model. So if you guys are looking to go for a run, but you're also, you know, want to head to class at the same time, but if it's pub night and you want to go hang out with your friends, this is a great shoe to to do all of those things um, and specifically with these colorways they're really great you know these ones in particular this is there's this one and there's one that comes in a red colorway as well so they're actually inspired off of varsity colorways uh, so let me tell you something this has a lot of school heritage into it just based on the fact of you know the cool and unique colorways that they have with the red the varsity red the black and the white so this may as may be your school's colors right here so in that case then it's an auto cop in my opinion and once again these are under hundred dollars sitting around about 90 or so bucks um, and fit on these is pretty great as well I find that I went with my true to size and they fit great and the material choices on these are very forgiving and they're updated and there are just a lot of tech involved in this shoe as well. So I think that this is the most versatile shoe that you guys can get on this list. So if you are looking for something that you can work out in, you know, go for a run in, you know, but still go to class and, uh, and you know, still go out with your friends and have a shoe that fits in all of those three categories, then I highly recommend going with the New Balance 997H. A lot of heritage in this shoe wrapped up in some modern materials and some great upgrades. So uh, let's go on to number five on the shoe, which is probably the most fashionable choice that you can go with. If you guys are getting any value out of this top five list, then hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. It goes a long way and helps support the channel. But let's jump into the number five, which is of course the Nike Blazer. This is probably the most fashion forward uh, sneaker on this list, specifically because of its affiliation with Virgil Abloh and his uh, collection of Nikes that he did. And uh, you know, this is a great sort of consolation prize given that these shoes, his shoes rather, go for thousands of dollars now. So I just absolutely love this and have a special connection with this shoe. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, I did a how to style lookbook of this uh, sneaker right here and it is my most watched video of all time. It has around 150,000 views at the time of filming this. Uh, so if you guys want to check out how I style this shoe, then hit the like, uh, the link, sorry, at the top uh, corner for you guys to check that out. So because of that affiliation with Virgil Abloh, it probably makes it the most fashion forward shoe on this list and it is under $100 and comes in a number of different colorways similar to the others uh, in this list. So if you guys want to check out any of those I'll leave a link in the description box below for you guys to check out and it's such a great shoe very versatile because it goes with with shorts it goes with uh, shorts with high socks it goes with jeans you know if you perform more of a baggier look you can tuck it over and it still looks absolutely amazing quality on the shoe is great for the price as well and uh, you know what in terms of fit I find it fit a little bit big in a sense I kind of compare it to the Converse Chuck Taylor uh, of the Nike catalog so it's very minimal in design uh, so if you guys have a more 
more of a narrow or smaller foot, then maybe consider going a half size down. Uh, I went with my true size on this just because I kind of like it in between, you know, that snug and that uh, and that wide fit shoe as well. So it's crazy to think that this was also a basketball sneaker when it came out. So uh, there's a little bit of tech involved in it, and uh, overall, it is probably one of my favorite pickups of the year. And speaking of pickups, if you guys are enjoying this style of video, then I'm gonna leave a link or a video that you guys can click right here if you want to see uh, my pickups for the month of July. Similar style of me reviewing product and talking about products or if you want to go back into the catalog and see what I picked up at the beginning of summer, you guys can click this June video, June pickups video right there uh, where I copped a ton of heat including two Air Jordan 1s uh, and we all love the Air Jordan 1, right? So why don't we click on either of those videos and I'll catch you guys there.